What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC25 coins. Also guys, right now u7buy.com is having a very nice purchase where you can get up to 4,000 free coins plus another 15,000 free coins making it a total of 19,000 coins called Mega Bonus for a new customer. All you gotta do, go up to u7buy.com right now Use my code Dan, and there you guys have some nice and extra free coins. Right now, I'm going to show you guys the remaining process on how to use u7buy.com. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, go to the save coin section. Make sure to use my discount code Dan at checkout for 6% off. Whenever you guys want to purchase coins on making your team better, add a discount. Discount code Dan. Get yourself a nice 6% off on making that ultimate team better. Yo YouTube, what's going on and welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys. And today I'm here to give you guys the top 10 best fullbacks in EFC 25 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game. Go ahead and join me in the comment section down below and let me know who has been your favorite fullback throughout the month of October up to now, the month of November that has been killing it for you for foot champs. Now, right before I get into the list, a couple ground rules. Number one for today's list, it's going to include icons. It's going to include hero cards. It's going to include all type of special cards. We've had a little bit over a month, so some of you guys have played a couple foot champs, some really good pack luck. You bought some coins. You put a lot of money into the game. So I feel like most of your guys' team is a little bit updated at this stage of the game. Number two, for today's list, it's my personal list. We're most likely not going to agree on the same list. So agree to disagree whenever I am performing these rankings throughout this week. Right before I get into the list, I do want to say for today's list, it's going to include any type of special card that has their primary and or secondary position as a right back or as a left back. If they cannot play as a right back or as a left back, it will not be included on today's list. With that being said, let's get to the first honorable mention right now. So you guys obviously know that whenever I perform these rankings, they are very, very difficult to put together. But first honorable mention for me surprisingly enough it's gonna be 84 rated gold kyle walker he made it over the likes of ashley cole the likes of other icons other heroes as well so some people are gonna disagree with me but hear me out six foot on the height acceleration type mostly lengthy three star skill moves with that two star weak foot combination preferred foot is the right foot 89 pace 77 passing 70 dribbling 79 defending 81 physicality as well play styles are the following jockey rapid and long throw he gets one plus sign as a false back now kyle walker under 100,000 coins i know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this but hear me out guys he's amazing defensively amazing physicality wise never gets wide balled never gets lb wide but when it comes to the offense being the complete fullback he's definitely a liability the dribbling really slow the passing is good but he has two star weak foot so Aside from the defending, he's absolutely clamps. But aside from that, he's a little bit limited in other aspects when it comes to being a complete fullback. But still, a very good option at this stage of the game and not that expensive. Now, coming in at number two is going to be 88 rated team of the week, Karchuay. I do apologize if I am mispronouncing that name. 5-3 on the height. Explosive is the acceleration type. 5-star skill moves with the 4-star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is the left foot 90 pace 83 passing 88 dribbling 82 defending 67 physicality as well a lot of play styles that she comes with with pass anticipate block jockey technical quick step and relentless all on basic you shift over to the row section one plus sign as a wide playmaker attacking wing back and as a false back as well so i was a huge fan of her gold card she got an inform 90 pace very nice passing with the four star weak foot amazing dribbling with the five star skill moves physicality is obviously a major liability because of her body type her being five three but aside from that when it comes to the offensive capabilities of this card she does a really good job in the creating aspect so definitely a good option in my opinion now coming in at number 10 our first icon on today's list is going to be 90 rated roberto carlos yes i'm usually not a fan of roberto carlos until later on in the year once he gets a couple of special cards but his base version is pretty decent this year five six on the height acceleration type is controlled three star skill moves with the two star weak foot combination 
preferred foot is the left foot. 91 pace, 83 shooting, 83 passing, 80 dribbling, 85 defending, 86 physicality as well. Play styles that he comes with, power shot, whip pass, long throw, Travella, quick step, rapid, all on basic. And the one gold play style is the dead ball play style for those of you guys to love to score your free kicks. Now, you shift over to the roll section. As an attacking wing back, he gets a double plus sign. So very nice right there. Like I said before, not really the biggest fan of Roberto Carlos, even though he's pretty meta for some people. What I do like from Roberto Carlos is that he's pretty quick with the pace, really nice with the stamina really consistent with the passing on the strong foot but the main cons from this card obviously is that he's five six on the height and the three star skill moves and two star weak foot combination so aside from that if you don't mind short fullbacks roberto carlos definitely a good option now coming in at number nine is going to be a new card added this year in afc 25 88 rated ultimate team heroes Maiko. now if you guys don't remember Maiko, this man was an absolute baller back in the day for brazil for Inter Milan as well. Oof, he was so good. Six foot on the height. Acceleration type is mostly lengthy. Three star skill moves with that four star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is the right foot. 86 pace, 82 shooting, 81 passing, 84 dribbling, 83 defending, 85 physicality as well. Play styles that he comes with is power shot, bruiser, and travella. So not exactly the best of combinations when it comes to play styles, but he does have one really good gold one. And that's whip pass. So very nice right there. You go to the rolls as a wing back, as a false back, one plus sign. As an attacking wing back, he gets a double plus sign. So Mike Cone this year, surprisingly enough, he plays much better in game because I've went against this card plenty of times. Boy, is he a problem. He's super physical, very tough. He reminds me of a better version of Kyle Walker, except this man can actually dribble a little bit better. And he has the four star weak foot. So six foot on hind as well. Pace looks a little bit low. You give him a nice shadow cam style. Don't got to worry about it. Dribbling, like I said, pretty solid. Passing is absolutely amazing. If you love to cross back post, you're going to have a good time with this card. 85 stamina, obviously. A little bit low to my liking, but he's pretty good. And not that expensive as well. Coming in at number 8 is going to be a card that's a staple point at this point in the game. And every single year, 86 rated Gianluca Zambrota. 5'11 on the height. Acceleration type is controlled. Lengthy four star skin moves with that five star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is the right foot. 87 pace, 80 passing, 81 dribbling, 84 defending, 82 physicality as well. Play styles that it comes with block, slide tackle, press proven, all on basic. And the one gold play style is the relentless play style. You shift over to the rogue section as a fullback and a wing back from the left back perspective. One plus sign as a wing back. From the right back perspective, he gets a double plus sign. So Zambrota, not much to say about him. We all know his body every single year in FIFA. He can play both right back and left back. That five-star weak foot, very crucial with the very nice and consistent passing. Very nice defending and physicality. Pace 87, not exactly top tier. I wish it was a little bit higher. You give him a nice shadow cam style, goes up to the 90s. Other than that, Really good option and really meta. Now, coming in number seven is going to be somebody that I absolutely love. 86 rated Trailblazers, Marcos Urenta. I did a player review on him. If you guys haven't checked it out, feel free to check it out. Six foot on the height. Acceleration type is controlled. Three star skill modes with that four star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is that right foot. 91 pace, 82 shooting, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, 82 defending, 85 physicality as well. Play styles that it comes with. Power shot with pass. Rapid, quick step, and relentless, all on basic. The roles that this card comes with, playmaker, wide playmaker, and attacking wingback. One plus sign as a winger, double plus sign right there. Now, this card is really good. He performs much better in game. What I like about Llorente is the versatility with this card. You can play him as a right back, as a right mid, as a winger, even as a box-to-box -box midfielder. But I think as a fullback, that's his best position. He's going to last you the whole game with that 92 stamina and relentless on basic. His passing, very consistent with that four star weak foot. He never gets wide ball, he never gets LB wide. Very nice defensive positioning. Really side dribbling as well for somebody that's six foot. Really good card, boys. He's not that expensive. He's under 400,000 coins. If you guys need a really nice and meta right back, give your rent a shot. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Now, coming in number six, might be a surprise to a lot of people. But it's going to be 84 rated gold Furlan Mendy. Yes, I still think gold Mendy 
is absolutely insane and meta. 5.11 on the height, acceleration type is controlled. 4 star skill moves with that 5 star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is that left foot, 89 pace, 76 passing, 76 dribbling, 81 defending, 85 physicality as well. Only two play styles, rapid and block on basic. And at the roll section, he gets one plus sign as a wing back. Now, Mendy is a classic example of somebody that looks kind of mid if you look at the play styles and the stats. But in game, come on. We've all used Mendy in the previous FIFA installments. This man, the gold version, is so good every single year in FIFA that you can use him up to team of the year for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the way he's encoded in the game, but he's just so good. He never gets a wide ball. Amazing defensive positioning. His dribbling going forward is top tier with the four-star skill moves and that five-star weak foot combination. Really nice physicality with him being 5'11". Overall, really good. He's around 90 to 100,000 coins by the time I drop this video. So not super cheap, but definitely not expensive as he was last month. So definitely cop yourself a Mendy if you have some extra leftover coins. Now we're getting into the top five and number five might be a surprise to a lot of people. It's going to be 86 rated total rush Diego Delut. Six foot on the height. Acceleration type is controlled. Double four star on the skill moves and weak foot combination. Preferred foot is the right foot. 90 pace, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, 85 defending, 83 physicality as well. Play styles that he comes with, long ball pass, whip pass, slide tackle, technical, and quick step, all on basic. The rolls, one plus sign as a wing back from both left back and right back perspective. Now this card is really good and really underrated and much better than I expected. He has some really good play styles. Really good links, but what I absolutely love about this card is he's six foot, he's double four star on the skill moves and weak foot combination. 90 pace, overall he's just good all around. Solid dribbling, really good physicality and defending. 87 stamina, a little bit low to my liking, but aside from the stamina being a con, everything else is top tier passing. Pretty good play styles as well in the passing category. Really good option, boys, really good. And not that expensive now we're getting to the top four and honestly the top four can be completely interchangeable whatever order you want but for me number four it's gonna be 91 rated icon kafu come on we all know kafu five nine on the high acceleration type is controlled four star skill moves with the three star weak foot combination preferred foot is the right foot 90 pace 83 passing 85 dribbling 80 defending 83 physicality as well play styles that it comes with jockey flare Travella, all on basic, and the one gold playstyle is the relentless playstyle. You shift over to the roll section as an attacking wingback, one plus sign. As a wingback, normal wingback, he gets a double plus sign. Now, Kafu, like I said before, we all know his body, top tier pace, top tier dribbling and passing, amazing defending. He's only 5'9 on the height, but he's so physical. He wins every single one on one tackle. He's just everywhere in the pitch defensively and offensively. He never gets tired with that relentless on gold and 92 stamina. Definitely top four at this stage of the game. You can make the argument he's top three, but like I said, it's all about preference at the end of the day. Now for me, coming in at number three is going to be 91 rated icon Carlos Alberto. We are looking at cards 5'11 on the height. Acceleration type is controlled. Three star skill moves with that four star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is that right foot 89 pace 80 passing 84 dribbling 80 defending 85 physicality as well play styles that he comes with power shot long ball pass intercept jockey and relentless all on basic and the one gold play style is the raccoon play style ak anticipate roll section as a fullback double plus sign as a ball playing defender one plus sign so Carlos Alberto, same exact vibes from kafu some people would argue that he's a better center back than a right back for Mr. Carlos Alberto. But this man defensively is a powerhouse. It's very tough to cook this card on a one-on-one. He's just so physical. He also has a very nice height of being 5'11". Four-star weak foot, so he's able to pass with either foot. He never gets wide ball with the really nice pace split. Overall, you guys know the vibes. Carlos Alberto, top tier. For those of you guys that tried him out, let me know what you guys think about him this year. In AFC 25. Now, this might come as a big surprise for a lot of people, but number two for me is going to be 88 rated UCL Rota Knockouts Jeremy Fringpong. Yes, Fringpong over Kafu and Carlos Alberto might be a hot take, but 5'8 on the height, acceleration type is explosive. 
double four star on the skill moves and weak foot combination. Preferred foot is the right foot. 94 pace, 79 passing, 90 dribbling, 80 defending, 75 physicality as well. Play styles that he comes with. Jockey, whip pass, rapid, quick step, and flare. All on basic as an attacking wing back and as an inside forward, he gets one plus side. So Frank Pong, for me number two, this man is very overpowered. He's still over 500,000 coins even though he got dropped about a month ago. 97 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. I believe he's the quickest, if not one of the quickest fullbacks in UFC 25. Look at the dribbling for a second, boys. 95 agility, 94 bounce. With well, him being 5'8", I believe, on the height, yeah. His body type, he feels really good. Arguably, the best dribbling fullback in UFC 25. Very nice with that double four-star combination as well. 90 stamina to last you the whole game. Probably the only con is the height. But aside from that, if you guys love short fullbacks, this is probably the best short fullback in UFC 25. But coming in at number one and still the best fullback in EFC 25 Ultimate Team. I don't even think this is a debate because this man is super overpowered. I got 15 and 0 last weekend and champs. This man was my left back. And this is probably the first year, the first FIFA, I should say, where I like and prefer Theo Hernandez over Ferlan Mendy. That is saying something because I always prefer Mendy. But as of right now, I love Theo Hernandez. He's so overpowered. Six foot on the height, acceleration type is control lengthy, four star skill moves with the three star weak foot combination. Preferred foot is the left foot. 96 pace, 70 shooting, 80 passing, 85 dribbling, 82 defending, 90 physicality as well. Play styles that he comes with anticipate, rapid, relentless, quick step, and long throw. All on basic, and the one gold play style is the bruiser play style. Now you shift over to the row section as a wide playmaker, he gets one plus sign. As a false back, he gets a double plus sign. Now, going back to the stats and overall the car, like I said before, Frank Pong, arguably the fastest fullback. You got Theo Hernandez, a close second, if not faster, with both acceleration and sprint speed being at 96. Top tier physicality, Theo Hernandez is a big body in game. You guys think Kyle Walker, Mike Cohn, Carlos Alberto are very physical and tough to get past? This man, Theo Hernandez, He's a big body. He's a big body in FIFA. Nice defending. Really nice passing as well. Main con from the card is that three-star weak foot. Aside from that, four-star skill moves. Nice addition to the card. But other than that, I don't think there's a debate because when it comes to the defending, Dio Hernandez is unstoppable. It's very tough to cook this card. And offensively, even though he's a little bit, you know, not perfect of a liability with that three-star weak foot, he still gets the job done because of that insane pace. He's super quick, boys. Once he gets going, he gets going. But yeah, guys, that is my top 10 best fullbacks at this stage of the game in the month of November. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the order of my list? Do you guys feel like somebody on the list is too high up and they should be moved down a little bit more? Or somebody on the list is too low and they should be moved higher up just a bit more? Once again, guys, if your favorite fullback is not on today's list, it's not because I don't rate them or I think that they are trash. I just think that these are slightly more meta and more overpowered at this stage of the game. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. So the next video we'll be dropping will be the top 10 best center backs in EFC 25. And then after center backs, it's going to be stay back DMs, box to box midfielders, wingers, strikers and then i might do a cam edition as well i have to see until next time it's been your boy dan fifa i am out bye bye